Bantamweight like, yeah. Championship of the Here World. We Here we go. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. Both guys with the SFT experience already. So both guys are going to be comfortable in there, but they haven't faced each other yet. And this is a super high level matchup we got here. It's the first time that we got to, uh, first time we got two champions fighting in the SFT. So that's exciting. History in the making. Absolutely. And you can see Jean Matsumoto on the left hand side of your screen in the black trunks with the white and red trim and Vanderlei Mexicano in the green trunks with the red trim, the traditional Muay Thai trunks. Yeah, we're seeing a bit of a feeling out process here between Matsumito and the Mexicano. Matsumoto. Both guys looking sharp. Oh, they're going for it. Some body shots there, kick. It's going to be a high intensity fight. Oh, Matsumoto down. is down. Go. Matsumoto, good defense there, though, falling wow. into the open guard of Matsumoto is Mexicano now. <laughs> I don't think it's Matsumoto half guard. ever took a beating like this. Wow, yeah, off to a, a, a bad start. Mexicano with, with some heavy striking in this early frame. Oh, man. Good work there. Vanderlei fishing for the guillotine, trying to keep top position here. You can see Matsumoto turning into him, trying to get back to his feet. And he does so smartly. He's still in some trouble now. Yeah, good, good job recovering from that. He looked like he could have been out of it. That, that, that's where the age comes into a play. Yeah. 21 year old can handle that. Well, that he doesn't know any game. better. Yeah. But like nice. you were saying, he's undefeated. He's not really used to facing this much adversity early on in the fight like this. And he's pretty much dominated most of his adversaries. Mm -hmm. This has got to be one of the toughest fight of his career. Yep. Matsumoto now shooting the single. He was in some trouble now. He's lifting Mexicano up. I like how. Matsumoto turned a bad position into a positive position by shooting that single. Yeah, and this was smart, you know, making him grapple, kind of get the cobwebs out, recover a little bit, and he's looking fresh now going into the second part of round he's got, one. He's got blood in his face. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he, I think it's his nose, right? It's tough to tell. Mexicano has great kickboxing. He'll love to fight at distance oh. all day long. Ooh. Good combination there. Fast hands for Mexicano. Wow, Matsumoto's taking a beating here. Yeah, and you can tell he wants to grapple. He doesn't want any more of that striking that the Mexicano is throwing at him. He's got all kinds of weapons, does Vanderlei Mexicano. Yeah, this fight turning into a dog fight. Good scrambles, good exchanges, super high, high fast-paced action here from both guys. I like how Matsumoto's turning this back into a street fight, and that's what he needs to do. He's closing the distance on Mexicano, he's starting to put it on him. It looked like it was going to be a really quick fight in the beginning, but luckily things have changed around. Matsumoto trying to close the distance. You can see that damage he took in the first couple of minutes of the opener here, round number one, scheduled for five five-minute rounds for the 135-pound belt. Yeah, and we'll see if that, that is going to affect his breathing. You know, bleeding through your nose like that usually affects your breathing, open up, opens up your mouth a little bit. We'll see if that's going to be a factor in this championship fight. John Matsumoto trying to up his game here in the final minute, trying to steal oh, the opener. Nice. Good combos here from both guys. Yeah, from both. Yeah. Just, oh, oh, oh down goes Mexicano. Oh, my God. Beautiful Matsumoto, head kick. left hand. Yeah, looking for the finish. Hammer fists and left hands now trying to put Mexicano away here with the last minute to go in the first round. Mexicano wow. wisely looking for a leg lock, looking to you know to get back up in the, this exchange here. Matsumoto, blood in the water. <laughs> exactly. He tasted his own blood. And he, he became the shark in the water going Ooh. for Mexicano's blood. Beautiful head kick to start things off here. This is crazy. Totally change of events in this fight looking for the finisher the ref's looking in on this closely seems like Matsumoto just doesn't have the power to finish him off with a, with a, oh the oh, elbow spinning elbow oh head another kick. head kick wow Mexicano still in trouble here Matsumoto oh, oh, oh man Mexicano's in trouble he's in trouble uh, he's, oh he's, he's, he goes short down. time short time 10 oh. seconds can Matsumoto finish him oh Oh, Smart Mexicano goodness. to be down. 
Wow. wow. We're going to see if that one minute is going to be enough time to get Mexicano back in this fight. That will be interesting. Wow, what a round. That big head kick. Keep those hands up. Uh, and, and, you know, you're still in this fight. Let him know that. There you had a good look at Vanderlei Mexicano in his corner waiting for the second round to start. Jean Matsumoto now meeting him Ooh. in the center of the cage with the combinations. And Matsumoto does look like the fresher fighter coming out in the second round. But Mexicano is swinging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're both taking it. Back and forth action here in the second round. Who wants it more? Who wants that 135 pound SFT strap more? Mexicano looking for the takedown now, slowing the fight down a little bit. Wow, intense first 45 seconds. Yep, yeah. uh, here we go, back, back in striking distance. And Matsumoto I like, found yeah. himself back in this fight. He's back in this scrap. Matsumoto pushing Mexicano back. The push kick, the Ooh. head kick. Those head kicks have been doing damage this whole fight. He's landed about three oh, of them so far. Oh, another oh, one. beautiful kick. You know, I'm pretty sure Mexicano walked into this fight thinking it was it was an easy one for him, and now he's like, "What's going on here? What's this?" Yeah, kid and he kid came doing close. He came close in that first round, yeah. but Matsumita took everything he had, and now he's giving it back. You know, that's the beauty of being 21 year old, 21 years old, guys. I mean, the recovery speed at which Matsumoto was able to get a second wind and really turn things around towards the end of the first round. Just the, the youth, the beauty of youth. Oof. Yeah, he look he looks like the more dedicated the more decorated veteran right now. He looks really sharp and composed in there. Kind of walking Mexicano down. Mexicano's still trying to shake the cobwebs off of the first round. He's never really been able to get the offense going here. He's trying to generate some offense. But he's kind of fighting on his heels. Yeah, he does look a little dizzy after that first round and hasn't fully recovered yet. Good back and forth action between these 135 pounders. This is for the SFT Bantamweight Ooh. Championship. Jordan J. Beautiful Adams. combo. Nice. Alongside Billy Corintillo, David Hudson. Oh, boy. Back and forth action. Ooh. Mazamoto finding his strikes. He's putting him right up against the cage, putting Mexicano right up against that cage, and letting go of these beautiful combos. Another head kick. Mexicano caught that one. We're going to take the back now. Another change of events here in the second round. Mexicano looking to take the back. Amazumoto. He's got the hook sunk in. He's trying to punch him just enough to distract him and get that right arm underneath the chin. That's all the punches are for, just as a distraction. Yeah, but Mexicano doing a great job putting himself in this position because he was starting to get picked apart a little bit. And now he's got the back. If he can hang on to this position... And, you know, possibly find a choke or at least win the round. You could see why they both are champions. You know, they're both, they're both coming out uh -huh. back and forth. Yeah, the great scrambles. And you expect this from the, these Bantamweights, you know, good power in the strikes and then great scrambles. Mexicano giving it to him right now. Take, back he's got, got his back, back control. Looking to land some big shots here. Looking to open up those chokes. Oh. This is not where Matsumoto wants to be. Are they both bleeding, or is that uh, Matsumoto's blood on Mexicano? It's tough to say. Uh, Matsumoto's definitely ble uh, bleeding. I don't know if that's his blood on Mexicano, or Mexicano's opened up too. Interesting. The ref's kind of telling him to, you know, make something happen here, but he's on his back, so it's interesting. The ref really wants to see some action, but Mexicano is obliging, landing some big shots here. Staying just busy enough not to get stood up. I mean, he really shouldn't be stood up. He's got yeah. the figure four body lock on Matsumoto. Mm -hmm. It's a dominant position, even though he's on his back. He's got Matsumoto in trouble. There should no way a referee should be saying you need to do more. I mean, this is good offense here. Yeah, it's the best position you can get to in on the ground in jujitsu. Uh, you know, in in a in a fight, really. Um, so, yeah, I can see why he wants to see some excitement, but Mexicano did what he had to do to get to this dominant position. 28 seconds to go here in round number two. Started off great for Jean Matsumoto, who was picking up where he left off on the first round, but then halfway through, Vanderlei Mexicano turning it around, turning this into a grappling match. 
Yeah, and it's never a good idea when someone has your back if you start exchanging strikes with them. Mexicano's in the position to land here. Um, and he I think he probably stole this round. He had the dominant position towards the end. And pressuring him, but then halfway through that third round, Mexicano able to, uh, sorry, the second round, Mexicano able to turn mm -hmm. things around. So back and forth for the bantamweights here at SFT 28. Yep, super high pace round. Wow. Super high high pace fight. And they're getting after here in the third round. We'll see who can keep this energy going because this is going to start wearing on them. Yeah, they're both going at full speed. It's, someone's going to have to run out of gas. Yeah, these guys both, you know, they put in a lot of months of training to get ready for this fight, and it's showing now. Both of these bantamweights working the legs smartly. I love to see that Muay Thai. That'll pay dividends later, especially in a long five-round fight. Oh, that was, a, that was a trip, right? I don't think that was... Uh... But he has looked wobbly on his legs, as yeah. Billy was saying earlier. He's, he's looked, you know, he's looked precarious many times. It almost looks like he's ready to go if Matsumoto can just keep the pressure on. He feels like Mexicano sees too much Matsumoto's out there. He does look a little wobbly. And, like and I, I think that was from the, the damage that he ate in the first round. Yeah, you can see it in his face. He's not 100%. A lot of stumbling. He's stumbling mm -hmm. quite a bit. Still ripping combos, though. And like you were yeah. saying, Joe, oh, yeah. he's, landing, yeah. he's landing those legs kick. And he's landing on his face, though. He's starting to wear it on his face. Ooh, good combo there. Now he's got Matsumoto backpedaling. Yeah, and what a great tip fight here we got for SFT. And all good fights tonight, SFT 28. You gotta love it. It's Co been an event. interesting night tonight, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Co main event did not disappoint. Oh, there's Mexicano with a big takedown. He's winning these grappling exchanges. And if he can stay on top in this third round, he's going to take this round. Let's see if he can make something happen here. Try to get to the back or try to get some heavy ground and pound in. We're almost at the halfway point of, the, of this fight. Yeah, Matsumoto's got to turn it around here. He's letting these big takedowns up. It could be costing him these rounds. Yeah, especially right toward the end of the round. You see this top position now. And you can tell both guys are tired, but Mexicano is tired in a dominant position. So while both guys can rest a little bit here, Mexicano is resting and winning the fight, you know, winning the on the scorecards on top here. Where Manumito has to find a way out. Matsumoto, no, they're both young, they're both undefeated, and they're both beasts, but this is Matsumoto. Yes. <laughs> We're still in awe from the last five for last month, that's what it was. <laughs> it's pretty amazing how the young guys are like are like really dominating and showing the, how they can win fights. Mm -hmm. Side control from Mexicano with a minute and 56 to go in the third round. Matsumoto trying to dig down, figure out a way to get out of this bad position. Yeah, Mexicano showing that strong control, that strong top game. Yeah. Oh. Good oh. job there Good. by Jean Matsumoto getting out of trouble. Got out, back, yeah. feet, back to the center of the cage, all the bantamweights. Superman punch from Ooh. Mexicano. We haven't seen any of that tonight. It's our first Superman punch. The Mexican Superman. Not oh. <laughs> the Mexicano. Mexicano. Shooting the single. Good Ooh. defense there. Matsumoto. Good defense. So, that's what Matsumoto has to do is defend those takedowns, keep striking. Ooh. Good These boys fight. are trading. Oh, it's a good fight. Oh, he set up that takedown. Oh, good takedown defense. Wow, what a scramble we got here. Both guys starting to wear it on their face a bit. But Mexicano's dangerous standing up as well. He doesn't have to just go to the floor. Exactly, yeah. I think what he's probably thinking is he can mix in the takedowns. He had a lot of success in the second round. Uh, so why even strike with him? But At the with same these time... He can, yeah. But at the same time, he can't strike with him, so he, it's a guessing game for Matsumoto. What's about the, what's exactly, exactly. You'd almost like to see Mexicano strike with him a little bit more because Matsumoto is doing a good job defending these takedowns now, at least in the second half of the third round. Yeah. Yep, and that's been the difference. Oh, oh no! Go for the guillotine. 
Trying to he close it? up that guard and choke. That's a great oh, short him, time bro. move. Did it with 15 seconds left. Uh, and this has been the most significant thing of the round, probably. It looks like he's locked in there, but it's with less than 10 seconds. Yeah, to short go. time. Mexicano's doing a good job of escaping. But hold. this looks good on the scorecards. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Perfect time to pull for the guillotine. Yeah, that was a smart, that was a, that was a veteran move by the 21 year old. This one's in the fourth. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Who wants it more? This, this fight could go in any direction. Razor thin Ooh. already. Good combos to start throwing fire. Outside leg kick from Mexicano. Switch to the shoots the single, but didn't really set it up. Yeah, not really setting up. Just I think he's just trying to get a reaction. Did a good job going low, coming high with the strikes off of it. Ooh, Masamoto now looking to take him down. And a change level and sweeps there you go, the left and he leg gets out. It. Yep, beautiful job there by Jean Matsumoto. Brock Concha versus Diadema here in Sao Paulo. Mm -hmm. Winner's going to leave with that Bantamweight title. Bragging rights. You know, in this fight, they both can go to the floor. They both can stand up. So we got a good fight no matter where they're at. Yeah, it's it's been interesting to see both guys get some pretty big takedowns and both guys land some pretty good strikes yeah. on the feet. It's really dead even here. Dead even. Dead even. Mm -hmm. Now Matsumoto... In the, in the same position Mexicano was just in. Last and round, yep. Exactly the same, you know, and now looking to let his hands Now it's his go. turn to do some damage. Yep. The half guard for Mexicano, trying to keep Matsumoto in tight so he can't posture up and rain elbows down. Oh, again. There we go, looking for that guillotine again. But he wants that guillotine. It looks tight. This one's yeah. an arm in guillotine. And now he's got three and a half minutes. It's not just 10 seconds. And the closed guard. Finally, the guard opens up. Good Mexicano defense there. Mexicano doing that. Yep, same defense. Basically passing the guard off it. Uh, he's able to get out of it. Okay, right back to the feed now. Here we go. Three minutes left in this round. This is what exciting, guys. Yeah, this is exciting. You just tuned in here watching SFT28. I'm Jordan J. Adams alongside Billy Quarantillo, David Hudson. Glad you joined us. It's been a night of fights here from Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is our main event. It's a bantamweight tilt. Jean Matsumoto in the white, blue, and black trunks versus Wanderlei Mexicano in the green trunks. We have this dead even as Matsumoto shoots the double. Ooh. And Mexicano ends up on top looking for the back now. Back Championship and rounds. Just each fighter taking turns being dominant. It's just it's amazing how they just keep going at it. Conditioning on these boys is insane oh. off the charts. Yeah. And it shows you just how closely matched they are, that neither one can pull out ahead. As soon as one fighter starts pulling out a little bit, the other fighter puts the brakes on it and steps on the gas. It's just a battle of attrition. It's a battle of mentality. It's a battle of toughness. Who wants it more? Two minutes to go here in round number four. Matsumoto looking to apply some pressure now. He's doing a good job reversing these positions. You know, earlier in the fight, in like the second round, Mexicano was, was you know, dominating the grappling. And Matsumoto is doing a great job now. Mexicano looking for the leg lock. I like that mix up. Looks like he might have a knee bar here. He's cranking on that knee. He's got the ankle and he's trying to pull it up. So how did you get out of that? Uh, so he's doing the right thing. You got to keep your, you got to put your weight on your foot here. If Mexicano doesn't raise it up, he's gonna have to roll through. But right now he's doing the smart thing, but basically keeping that foot to the ground. Now he's gonna try to get up and climb up and, and end up on top here. Wow. I love that it's like a chess game. It's such a every move. You gotta think of the next move. Yeah, you gotta be so versed in, in all these different areas. Yeah, at this level, you know, when you when you get to like frankly Billy Quarantillo's level mm -hmm. at black belt, you start setting traps. You start act you start putting things out there so your opponent gets sucked into a trap for a submission. Yeah, and people that don't understand, they think, oh what luck he got this guy in this position. But guys watching this, it's nothing to do with luck. Everything is thought out of. 
Hammer fist now for Matsumoto, trying to soften up Mexicano. Yeah, he's taking over. He looks like the fresher fighter in these in this championship round. Good timing, too, in the last 30 seconds of round number four. Last thing the judges are going to see is Matsumoto raining down hammer fists and elbows into the face of Mexicano. Action-packed fight. Oh, one how is wow. <laughs> yeah. Crazy those, output still for crazy this fourth round. Just crazy. If one of those this. hammer fists connects and it's none night oh. for Mexicano. And where we are, it could be a two two, it could be a three one. Yep. I completely agree. I would give the slight advantage to Matsumoto, uh possibly three one, but I could definitely see two two and this round me meaning it all right here. Yep. Looks like Matsumoto is going to try to make the most of it with yeah, that ankle Yeah, get off to a pick. good takedown to start things off. Mexicano yep. diving in for that Kimura. Looks More like he's south. got it. Oh, now I going to the arm bar. Oh, going to the arm. Matsumoto knows the defense. Yep, he's being smart with it, keeping that arm in tight, trying to stack him up. Could use that cage a little bit here. He's got a purple belt in jiu-jitsu versus Mexicano's brown belt in jiu-jitsu. Yep, so two guys that know what they're doing in these positions, being careful here, taking their time. You know, one one mistake here, and he's got a broken arm and, uh, you know, no championship belt. <laughs> a lot on the state, a lot on the line here. Especially when you consider what both of these bantamweights have put in, not just in this fight, but everything they've done to get to this level, to get to the championship fight. For This, this is just something that you can't be can't be overstated how important this is to both of these 135 pounders yeah every little exchange here that can mean the difference in the fight matsumoto taking over here go, taking the back dominant position let's see if he can hang on to it mexicano fighting for his life out there Fishing for the rear naked choke now the chin is tucked in by oh, mexicano. he's going for it looks like he might have it does he have mexicano's it? not fighting the wrists at all he's oh. in trouble oh at least like he might trouble. be going out it looks oh. like he's it's more it's a crank more than it's a choke, but that can tap oh. that'll tap you out as well. Like, what are you... Oh, he that couldn't is... hold oh, it. He's out. Oh. He's out. They're, they're too tired. Oh, yeah, oh, his my arm gosh. Goes just... How... And now Mexicano ends up on top. Here we go. Back and forth action. How Mexicano didn't tap to that neck crank, I'll never know. <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness. Maybe Matsumoto just couldn't put any heat yeah, on it. Because it looked like he, he didn't really defend it that well, but he just did a good, good job relaxing and tucking his chin yep. and he was able to fight out of it. Paul just have no more strength left. Yeah, it's tough to finish big chokes like that, especially if if your opponent's not willing to give you know give you an inch on it. Looking to posture up now as Mexicano, hoping to put some punishment down here in the last half of the fifth and final round, making his case with the judges that he should walk away with the SFT strap. Now with two, two and a minutes or to go, it's anyone's fight here. Yeah. Yeah, that's how back and forth this has been. There's never been a clear winner. I, I have to agree with Billy though, if I would have to lean towards Matsumoto uh, based on damage and based on aggression and based on just more time in the dominant position than mm -hmm. Mexicano. And Mexicano being stumbly for a couple of rounds as yeah. well. Definitely Mexicano is not up. He's either a 2-2 two -two or a 3-1 to, to uh, Matsumoto. Yeah. That's going to be an interesting mid last minute and a half. All right. Minute 40 left. Shooting the single now is Matsumoto. Be a good time for a dump if he can pull it off. Yep, looking to take the back now. Mexicano's got to square up with him. Oh, big mistake there by Mexicano, letting him get that far back. Yeah, He's Matsumoto now. seems to be the fresher fighter here in these last, the you know, fourth and fifth round. Looking for the big oh. dunk. Oh, almost. Oh. With a minute to go, if he can do it. So he's going to reset. Almost Mexicano going for the suplex. For leg. He was trying to suplex Mexicano. Mexicano, great defense. Wow. <laughs> One minute to go in the fight, guys. All right, last last minute championship main event fight. Who wants oh, it more? Just missing the head kick was Matsumoto. Oh, that landed. Ooh, good right hand. Yeah, Mexicano starting to let Matsumoto kind of pull out a little bit. Yeah. Here. 
And I think seconds. I think Matsumoto realizes he, he's up and he's just looking to grind out the finish, grind out the takedown at the end here. Yep, he's he's putting all of the forward motion. He's attempting to finish this fight. Mexicano is shaking his head no, but that's not going to be enough. Mm -hmm. He's got to generate some offense. Be a good time for a takedown by mm -hmm. Oh, Mexicano with the takedown oh, now. Oh, there we go. Ends up on top. Oh, just when we thought we we, we could we could you know we're we're all trying to figure out who's going to win this Ooh. thing, and just when we thought we had Matsumoto pulling out in front. Mexicano with the big takedown. Yeah, is it going to be enough though at the end here? Right, right. I Man. don't think it's enough. Man, I don't want. I wouldn't want to be one of these judges. What a they got a tough task on their hand. You know, each round, round by round, but a close fifth and final round. Arbitro número um pontuou 49 46. Número dois 49 46. 48 47 pontuou o terceiro árbitro. Portanto, em decisão unânime, é declarado vencedor e detentor do cinturão. Jean Matsumoto! Two judges had it four to one, one judge had it three to two. Wow. Judges getting it right tonight. Yeah.